Hey, 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 how's it going? Hers Quasar here, and welcome to Zombie Cure Lab. Yeah, you reading that right. This is a game about zombies, and this is something that I would not personally find on Steam and want to download and buy and play. Nothing against the game, it's just it's zombies, it looks a little cartoony. But um, I was I was sent an email by the, the the developers of the game, and I mean just like uh, quite a few people probably have this as well because I've looked at the Discord channel. Asked me if I would like to play it. I said sure, and I sent them an email back. They sent me back a key. I downloaded it from Steam, and I started playing around with it. I really didn't think I was going to use this game at all. I, I thought, okay, the developers were nice enough to send me this key, I'm going to give it a shot. That was my first mistake, because I think I'm a little hooked on this. This is kind of a very fun game. You, you have to think a little bit, and you're not killing zombies, you're trying to cure zombies, right? So it's just, it's just kind of cool. And plus, if you look at the characters, the characters are actually quite funny. Um, they all have, like, their own personalities I, I don't know the developers did a really good job with this game it's really refined and I I just couldn't couldn't praise them anymore so let's go ahead and jump in to a new game and we'll take a look so on the, the back side of the story right is that it is currently a mystery of how it happened but one tragic day we were overrun by zombies anyone bitten by a zombie turned into one their ranks grew endlessly they proved impervious to any attacks and thus, in what felt like an instant, civilization fell. But in the remote reaches of northern Canada, yay Canada, uh, there exists Moose Labs. Now I will tell you, Moose has a deep meaning for me, believe it or not. Um, I, I will tell you stories, if you stick with the series, um, I will tell you more stories about what Moose and what it is why it's just is drawn i'm drawn to the, the word moose and moose itself um in this underground facility a group of scientists were busy are busy researching a cure these scientists were are largely spared from the horrors of the zombie ap apocalypse and so they chose to fight back with their greatest weapon science they have made the first steps in developing a cure for the zombie virus and now it's time for some perilous field work. The scientists of Moose Lab have gathered their bravest members. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to build a laboratory, defend it from the zombie attacks, capture zombies, treat them, and help them regain their humanity. It's time to cure the world. So here we go. So for my first episode, what we're going to do is we're going to just jump right into zombie curing tutorial. We're going to have to do the tutorial. So we're going to start a new tutorial and we're going to name this uh, Quasar's Cure Lab. How's that? Looks good. All right. So we're going to start. So you see where the early, early access release is, right? Uh, and this is what we have going forward. So look forward to that. All right. This is Zombie Cure Lab. So we have zombies and then... During the process, when we cure these guys, you go to the Humvee evolution. So you have one step one, step two, step three. Um, so our world is overrun by mindless undead zombies. Civilization has fallen, but a small team of plucky Canadian scientists are trying to cure the zombie virus. Your goal of the expedition is to cure zombies in this area. You will have to build a functional lab and defend it from nightly zombie attacks. Uh, with time, you will be able to turn zombies into human-zombie hybrids, which we call humbies, and ultimately back to fully cured humans. Curing humbies back to humans takes several rounds of treatment. Any zombie you, you heal into a humbie will join your workforce, which is good. So our objectives are up in the upper right-hand corner, or left-hand corner. So let's go ahead and get started real quick. So our scientists are coming in by helicopter, <laughs> coming in by this crazy, this is, that's a, here we go. So here, here's our guys right here. What do you think of them? So they want us to do the w, WSD, so there we go. 
We do the Q and the E so we can rotate around, right? Uh, the mouse wheel in and out will give you a bird's eye, let's go like a bird's eye view. And as we're out here, I'll show you right here is where the zombies are going to come in through this tunnel. So we're in pretty good shape right here from getting anything from the outside, but the zombies are all going to come right there. So let's go ahead and get down here. And let's rotate ourselves around here. Give ourselves a better perspective. There we go. Um, so use the space bar to pause and unpause the game. All right, so our harvesting stuff is down here below. So we have all kinds of things. I've got um, vegetables and meat, um, wood. Uh, we have like a rock iron. Um, I think this is just regular iron. Some uh, electronics, uh, research, development, electricity, which will be very important. These uh, mulberry bushes, which will be good. I think this is gold. This is like a uh, like a redstone. I want to call it redstone, like Minecraft, but like like that uh, ice packs which are used for our defense system and I'm not sure what that is uh, okay but this is this is where our storage will be and this will show you how much you have of what right uh, for our harvesting resources we need to build a harvest camp a resource camp and a hauling post um, so we'll be able to place that in the game and then select resource camp to open up the info box and specify resources that you want to the harvest so right now what do we got here we're looking at if you're looking around here we've got vegetables right here we got the berries and we have trees so those are our main sources of see I want everything up there so we are going to go all right so first things first we need to build a resource camp so let's build so this is our defense. We got uh, fence, gates, and a snowball shooter, which is kind of cool. Uh, so for end of production, we're gonna have a resource camp. We'll drag that out here. Um, you can see the little white footprints on there. That's where the people would stand. So you want to rotate it around. You see the white circle. The white circle is everything that they will uh, come in contact with. They, that's what they will uh, look to grab and. Um, Re, uh, chop down resource and gather all right so I want as much as possible here um, of the resources and it looks like it might be that one right there so we're gonna go ahead and put it right there um, and a hauling post so we get a hauling post laid out right next to it we use the key letter or the L on the keyboard to rotate it around and now we've got this built now you see all these little footprints out here. It's saying that they can't reach these, right? They can't reach these. And there's a reason why is because, well, you know, we don't have a gate. So let's go ahead and we'll build a gate. And let's see, we don't want the zombies to come right in. I think uh, maybe we'll make them come around a little bit, right? So let's put the gate right here. Yeah, we'll put the gate right here. We'll make the zombies kind of come around a little bit. So now that we've got that gate right there, the our characters will be able to use that gate and go out and around and gather, uh, uh, collect resources. So there's that little guy. He just opened our gate up. He just fixed our gate. So there we go. All right. So we need to get uh, vegetables. We've got 50 of 80 uh, and wood. So they're gathering resources. Slowly but surely. And you can tell there's resource, there's vegetables there they can gather. There's all kinds of vegetables out there they can gather and all kinds of wood, mulberry bushes. There you go. Or is that mulberry or glowberry? Glowberry bushes, sorry. So yeah, they have all kinds of things to do. Um, down here, if you click on a resource camp, right, it shows you the, the people you have working there. Um, you can have them do day shift only or night shift. And I've got these guys assigned to both. So yeah, um, you can have pick up or harvest. So if they're assigned there, this, these are the jobs you're gonna do. They're gonna pick up and harvest. So as they're clearing these trees out, 
um, I'm going to gather wood up here. So I've got 221 right now. And it's slowly building 227. So it's slowly building little by little. Um, as soon as we get all the vegetables, which these guys would get some vegetables. So right up here, I can I can say, okay, uh, we just want vegetables. Or no, we don't want uh, we don't want wood. We want vegetables. So these guys will go out. And they should go out and harvest these two. These two gatherers are heading out. We got Stanley and Freddy. It looks like they're going out the gate. I think they're going out to get some vegetables. So they're going to gather up some mulberries. You can see the mulberries are starting to increase because we stopped the wood production because we killed it, right? So these two, what are these two yahoos out here doing? Ah, vegetables. So yeah, we're going to harvest some vegetables. So our gate is going to be um, one of those things where we come in and out of. Now, the gates are where zombies are going to centralize themselves at. So that's going to be our entry and exit out of our camp. And if zombies come... We have to get everybody back into camp and close those gates as quickly as possible. So as soon as we get this all taken care of, we've got uh, we're out here doing mulberries and uh, what are you doing, Freddy? You're you're messing with some chemicals, Freddy. What are you what are you doing, Freddy? Okay, I don't know what you got, but um, yeah, okay. So that's all we're looking to do right now. As soon as we get some vegetables back into the camp, we will move on. So, yeah, I can actually, we have, you know, these guys are all standing around not doing anything. I could actually assign them. So this is like any worker. So this is like a hum, humby uh, or a human you can use to assign. Um, what you can do is just add one. Boom. And then this guy just starts taking off and starts doing his thing. All right. Uh, looks like we got our resources. So now the next step is uh, at least one worker to function. Yep. Uh, you can set which jobs they are assigned workers will do by clicking on the corresponding icons. So like I was telling you, these are, you know, these. this is the gathering. This is the resourcing right here. So this is the chopping down, breaking the rocks or whatever. So you can actually assign it. And like I said, you can assign day and or night. So our objective here is to assign workers to the resource camp. So we'll select the resource camp um, and we'll assign a worker we'll take him away we'll assign another one to get that out of the way unassigned from the hauling post it's our hauling post um, so we're going to unassign from the hauling post and we're actually going to assign two more back um, change the shifts of workers at the main storage which is this one right here uh, to day shift only so we went to here uh, we just want them working a day shift, right? So we're going to knock out the whole night shift thing. So they're only working day shift. Uh, change the job categories at the research camp to pick up only. So at the resource uh, resource camp, I can have them just do the pick up only, right? So that would mean I would have, um, you know, these two would do nothing but pick up, and these would do either or. All right, so. To replenish needs of your humans, you'll need to build a kitchen with a dining table and a bedroom with some beds and a couch. Uh, select the kitchen tab from the menu and build tool. Uh, click and drag. Add a door and a dining room table. Um, building a bedroom works the same way. Don't forget to add beds and couch. Uh, to further customize the shape of the room, use the tools, merge rooms, subtract rooms, and divide rooms. So we have you know, these areas right here which are I'll show you down here but these right here next to the build menu that uh, you can do stuff with as well I haven't played too much with it but um, I'm hoping to do that in the next couple of episodes um, you can always change the type of room by selecting another type in the box um, but be careful objects placed in a room with the wrong type won't function so if I build a kitchen right um, it just it won't function as a bedroom if I change it to a bedroom so here's a kitchen little pot cool 
Um, they want it to build it a 10 by 10, so we're going to keep it over here. And we're going to go 10 by 10. I think that's pretty good. We're going to say yes. That's what we want. Um, and we could put a dining room table in it. Now, what we could do right now is wait for the wait for the scientists to build this. So as you can tell, they're starting to build this now. I want to get this door in here. So get the door built on there. So that's going to be the main entrance to the kitchen. Um, and then we're going to do uh, dining room. Now it does have a meat cultivator and a feeding pile. We'll get the those in a minute. Um, so what we can do is go ahead and uh, let's rotate that around a little bit. It might be a waste of space here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I can get two of those in there correctly. But I can this way. So we'll put one dining room table there and one dining room table there. And you can't see it right now, but as it as it gets in there... Um, oh, dang. Let's go ahead and remove that. Let's do this again. Do another dining room table. There we go. There we go. I wanted it kind of even. And there's going to be a reason for it when it comes up. All right, so we've done that. Um, one of this, if this is an area to where if you, you can see it, you can click on it, you can actually trash it, move it, or repair it. So that's what I did real quick for that. All right, for the bedroom. So we're going to do a build, and we're going to go to the bed. And this is a 7x10 at least. Um, we're going to go... We'll do one over. Seven by ten. Okay, so this is what they want for a seven by ten, right? I think I'm gonna go a seven by eleven. There's a reason for it, but I'm going to do a 7 by 10. That looks good to me. I'm going to say, yep, I'm good. So that's done. Add myself a door to the front here. There we go. And then I have to add beds and a couch. So the beds here, if I can rotate these guys around. I need to add five beds. Yeah, five beds. That's what it said. Yeah, five beds. So I've got to build five beds, right? I've got to figure out the best layout for this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. So we got five beds across there. We're going to build a TV set right there. Interesting. All right. So we have that all done. All right. So now let's take a look here. Our harvesting, our wood's low. We're getting some stuff. Everybody's. Let's go ahead and add everybody back in to do the harvesting thing. Um, go ahead and undo that so they can get some wood for our hauling post. I think we're good with everything, right? Yeah, I think so. So let's let them take care of business. Um, they're hauling. They're they're gathering up some of the resources around here, and they're going to get this stuff built. So this is going to be my kitchen. This is going to be my the bedroom area. waiting for it to get built at this point so now we're at nightfall and down here it shows you like day nightfall um, they have uh, um, some zombie attacks <laughs> Jeez, 19 zombies so we had better be prepared to get some zombies some zombie stuff going on here that's for sure um, so yeah we are going to have to figure it out real quick 
Uh, dilapidated. Can I do anything with that? Nope, it's some steel, but I can't really assign anyone to get that out of the way. I don't want that there. Hopefully somebody will get it out of the way soon. Well, it's over here. This is over here. And if it's not, they're not doing anything with that. So that's going to be a bummer. So anything, like I said, anything in that circle is going to get harvested. Now, as far as the rest of our, our junkies here for our main storage, they're not working night shift. So we're, but we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to get those guys activated and let them work. Um, so you have build workers, this will use the resources to create new objects, and you have repair. So these guys will, anything that are, anybody that's assigned will repair and build, if that makes sense. So these guys are building the walls here. It's almost done on the back side there. So you can see the little footprints. Okay, that's back side walls done. Oh, there we go. Now we've got a complete kitchen. It's done. Um, and then we're going to build the dining room tables. They'll throw those in there. Um, and we're also building a bedroom right here. Everybody seems to be doing pretty happy here. We're starting to do a mess right here. I need to start gathering up some of the uh, resources. So I'm going to knock a couple of these guys off. And have a couple of them start doing more pickup than anything else. Because it looks like we could reuse use some of the stuff that's here. It looks like what's happening is we're, we're harvesting more than we're, more than we're picking up. So we'll have two harvest and three pickup start cleaning this place up a little bit now we've got our main storage area personnel bringing over boxes and getting our walls done we're down to 34 wood and that's what's happening is the people are out there you know knocking down trees and everything and they're not picking up all the stuff so they need to get their get their act together and start picking up all the resources getting ready to come back into day shift I feel like I have enough people working it. We don't need it. All right, so we have dining tables that are going to get in. They got the door. They got the uh, the walls going up for the bedroom. We got one, two, three, four, five beds and a couch. So the couch is like in front of a TV. So when people get tired, they want to you know sit down and chill in front of the TV and that's one of the things they do so you have to have that um, beds are also good for the um, the zombie the, the hum the humbies the humbies need it too so just remember that so now they're coming in they're building the beds as you can tell that's a bright orange uh, oof Okay, it looks like we've cleaned up most of our most of our inventory here. So let's go ahead and start hatching things down again. Uh, dining room table, one of them's done. So what you can do is take this if you clicked on it, and you can. Um, make it into something else i think is what they're basically what they're saying but the beds won't work if you make it into a kitchen right you can't use them so you'd have to build it and make it into a full kitchen um you do have the option of of moving it i do believe um uh, maybe not for this some of the smaller objects like these you have the option to move right um i go the rooms you do not so that's interesting all right they're getting some resources look this guy's this this guy right here she just sat down to eat she's on a break so yeah so 
they have to get nourishment and they get nourishment through the vegetables and there's some meat in there as well what I may end up doing is moving my resource camp so I can have a better uh, some other resources now I can build this out a little bit certainly and that would help okay build a bedroom build a bed I'm just waiting for the couch to be done so let's knock a couple of those guys off and have them do some their specific job of just cleaning up the mess Got another scientist over here. <laughs> Freddy Camillo. Hello, Freddy. So you have a little icon above them. It's like they're going to bed. They're, they're tired, they're sleepy, so yeah. So if you zoom down in on them. <laughs> he's, Z, he's, he's making some Z's, man. Yes, sir. All right. Now we're just kind of waiting around. I don't know what's keeping the couch a problem. Um, oh, it needs 100 wood, that's why. So as soon as we get the 100 wood, that's going to come around. Um, I don't know if I've got any more glowstone in the air or the glowberries. Oh, I do not have any more glowberries in the area. So that's interesting. Um, so the couch will soon be getting built and then we will move on to something else. Get the little wheelbarrow. They're bringing it back in. There we go. Hit 91. 109. All right, so somebody should be taking care of business here. Oh, I got a person right there. Paxton. Coming in. Boom. Built. All right, so now the next step is we're going to need a research board, and spending research can unlock more and better objects. Okay, so from here... Uh, generated by scientists working at the research desks of the science room. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. Uh, okay, so we're getting a little bit more complicated, more of a, um, a mapping type um, situation here. New objects have one or more upgrades you can research. Um, so build a research desk by selecting the science lab room in the build menu. All right, so now we got to build ourselves a science lab. Here, that's going to be our science lab. Our science lab has to be a 10 by 10. So our science lab is going to be down here. Can I go 10? Nope, we want it. Right there. We liked where it's like where it's looking yes so we're gonna put that right there uh, the door to the science lab we're going to put onto the side here um, I need to build three research desks let's see how do I want to do this one two three three research desks um, that's telling me there's just not enough wood. So our wood supply, our wood supply is what's dictating what's happening right now. We do not have any wood. Um, all right. So what we need to do is go ahead and get this going. Um, we have enough in the area. It just takes them a while to get it. So yeah, it's nothing more than just getting it. Now we can assign. We can assign another person. Oh, we, we're all maxed out for people we can assign, unfortunately. Uh, 
So we, but we can add another one here, so they can help out with the resourcing. Okay. But yeah, see how we've pretty much cleaned this whole area out. They're taking down some more trees here. So we're slowly but surely creating our research lab. Um, and then we need to get research. We need to get 50 research. So once these, once the lab is completed, what's going to happen is then our desks will be uh, completed. And then uh, we'll have scientists uh, join the desks and then start researching for us. Holy cow, I'm getting a little tongue-tied on this. Yeah, these scientists are working feverishly around the clock. Who knew a scientist knew how to swing an axe? Hi, Stanley. Who's this guy? <laughs> and when you click them, they laugh. Kimball. So when I say this, this, this game is very refined... I mean it. I mean, this has got a lot of little things in it. Um, you can zoom in. You can see what these guys are doing. Um, it's, it's just... Uh, Daisy. 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 Kazzy. Zara. <laughs> so I don't know what these, these cats are doing up here. Maybe they're waiting for to become a, a scientist down here. Maybe. I don't know. But we're getting close to getting our science room done. There we go. Uh, it's just the the resources are coming in slow. Just about done. Look at this. Look at this. Bam. Okay, our science room is done. We've got two desks in there. And then uh, we built a science room, a research desk, and then we have to get um, research. So basically, after the desks are completed then my scientists will come in and sit down at the desk and that's how you start building research now, thinking about moving this bad boy but all the resources aren't done yet oh this guy needs to go to bed Stanley I'm trying to click on Stanley yeah see he's He's wanting to go to bed. He's tired, right? He's tired. So he's going to bed. So I, I like the idea that these guys do their own thing when they need to. <laughs> As, uh, God knows I wouldn't be able to manage them. Not like this, anyway. All right, we've got one research desk done. Now we're hoping to we zoom down on the research. Look at the research desk. Now look at that. How freaking detailed can we get on this? Oh, is this our first scientist? Look at this. Look at this. Uh, he's already he's already down there experimenting and getting me some research. So some research is right here. Um, so when they're working there, see he's got one. So once these get built, I'll have another research another scientist in there and we will be good to go we will keep building our science our, our science lab little at a time he's working feverishly in there come on oh they okay, no one can do anything because you need to get I know you're out of work, right? I know you're out of work. I don't have anything for you to do, to be quite honest with you, because we've got everything going on right now. I've got my resource camp is is chock full. Um, what I could do though is build another resource camp if I needed to down here. Let's rotate that around. So we'll go ahead and put that down. And we'll go ahead and put another hauling post right next to it. 
So between the two, these are going to get built. There we go. Oh, regular attack, 19 zombies. Okay, right here. It's the panic button. <laughs> get everybody back in. Whoa, them zombies came in quick. All right, so the zombies that come in, are, they're attacking everybody. All right, we've got everybody safe inside, it looks like. Let's take a quick look at some of these zombies. See, with everybody... Okay, I'm hoping my gate holds. <laughs> Even his zombies have names. So hopefully my defenses will... Hopefully my defenses will hold. We've got another scientist lab done. Or a scientist... Gotta keep keep on keeping on. Now I've noticed you got these right here. You got fences. You can repair them. And this guy's gonna repair them. So if I'm not mistaken, let me look at my gate. My gate's taking a beating. That's for sure. I'll go ahead and try to repair it. Okay, we're doing our best to regain our our sanity here. All right, zombies, anytime now. Our gates, our gates, holding up so far. And this guy over here is taking a lunch break. Ah, oh, these two are going to bed. Are you kidding me? Come on, we've got zombies attacking. Oh, they're outside the gate. All right, that's fine. Yeah, these guys are relentless. I didn't have a chance to make any type, build any type of defense system. Well, that kind of sucks. Researching as much as I can. I got one lonely scientist in there. How's my gate? Oh, it's still, we're still doing pretty good. But I will say we're getting ready to go into dawn. There we go. Yep. Gate took a beating, but it survived. Thank goodness. 
All right, so we'll repair the, the fencing around there slowly but surely. Hopefully we can get uh, some scientists working here. All right. Now we can put them, take away the red alert and get everybody back to work. Um, they keep, they stay inside the gated area, which is pretty cool. But you have to be quick because you don't want to lose any scientists. Remember, if they get bit, they're going to be, um, they're going to become zombified. You don't want that. So, all right. I don't know why. Anybody can go. Anybody. I mean, everyone's been quite busy. Oh, we may have another scientist coming in to... Oh, nope. He went out to lunch. He's back to work. So we've got we've got that done, got that done. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, we click on research right here, and we pull up our our map, so to so to speak. So you have like defense gates, and you can get to uh, durable gates, um, uh, robust, and we just everything gets you know better and better uh, as you research them. Right now we are looking to research. What do we have to research? Uh, bellow breezer. Uh, is that a bellow breezer? Bellow breezer. Snowball thrower. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, bellow breezer. Bellow breezer, right there. Um, this makes ice cubes, basically. So we've got that. Now that we have the bellow breezer, the snowball shooter, um, is what helps defend our bases. If all of our workers are turned into zombies, or if your main storage building is destroyed, we lose. So that's the objective of this game. The Vince provides basic protection for your lab. Zombies must first destroy it before they can get inside. Uh, you'll also need to build gates. So the workers can go in and out. Zombies like to attack gates first. Use this as your to your advantage. Uh, since we don't want to destroy the zombies, we'll just freeze them into a nice block, and you can do this by constructing various cold weapons. Uh, the cold weapons need ice packs as ammunition and an operator to function properly. You can get ice packs by scavenging old structures in the area or by producing them with a bellow breezer, which is what we're going to build. Um, lockdown, which I showed you. Um, this will keep workers inside. Everyone that's outside of it will come inside. And be protected, and they can do the work while they're still the inside. But they just can't stay inside the, the gate, the base. Uh, you get a visualization of safe and unsafe by clicking the show safe areas button, and don't forget to lift the lock down when the danger has passed. And I, I've done that once before. I had this all locked down, and um, I forgot to unlock it. And I was like, why are these people not getting anything done here? So. So while we are playing around with this, we're going to repair some of these fence pieces, and we need to build a bellow breezer. Um, okay, so we're going to do a bellow breezer. So this is a bellow breezer. Um, this uh, requires an operator, and it gives you two and a half coal packs. All right. So because I'm going to have to make a defense system right here, I think I'm going to make both the breezers right here. I'm going to make two of them, actually. There we go. Uh, now we need to build a snowball shooter. Okay, I've built a gate, built a player breezer, a uh, shooter, a shooter, shooter. Uh, okay, so we go up here, snowball shooter. Now, I know from personal experience in playing this game um, I need at least three um, so if you see the little footprints that is the rear of it um, so we're gonna put one right here in front of the gate we're gonna put one 
on each side of it. There we go. Uh, and fill the snowball sh uh, snowball shooter with at least ten of the resources. So yeah, it's they're it's going to take a little bit, but they are going to start filling them up with the ice blocks. Um, oh, there we go. So it's all filled. All right, connect the snowball shooter to a power grid. So I've got to make power. I've got to put power grids down. I construct power poles to connect your power producing objects to those that need electricity. Main storage already produces electricity with some solar panels. It also has a battery and some power poles. So we do have a little, let's see, we have four power poles. We have a little bit of a solar, uh, what's left of it. Um, and a very little storage area, which looks like, what the heck? It's got a beaver right there. That's hilarious. All right, so we need to build some... These guys right here need power. So what I'm going to do... Let's see, how, can, how far can I go with this? Okay, so I want to... Yeah, all right. So one there... One there. Man, I can't do that. Put it right in between there. So like this one right here, I want to get rid of. Um, those three go through three different stages of Humvee development. Each Humvee has a level of its own characteristics. Um, progressing to the next phase of treatment requires you to research and build a corresponding treatment chamber. Ugh. All right, so I gotta build a treatment chamber. But for right now, I don't like how this was done. Um, I don't like how I did this. So uh, I want to take this. I want to move it, and I think I want to move it. right there so what happens is somebody will come along they'll destroy it and then build a new one yep there she is boom done and then go over here boom done so then it just gives you this power grid that all these are operating off this one power grid so we're good to go i wish i could get rid of that uh can somebody take this out for me thanks um i won't because i don't have a resource is not far enough over here to get rid of that but we'll leave it there for now it's not a big deal all right and you can click on the snowball shooter and you can check to see how full it is this one has nothing in it uh, that one's got 13 in it that one's got nothing in it all right so now we have to build a, and this is why I put them right in front of the gate, right? Because if the zombies attack the gate, then that's where I want it to be. That's where I want my defenses, right there. Do a little fence building while we're at it. All right, make a treatment chamber. Make a treatment chamber operational um, and connected to the power grid. So this is going to need a power grid as well. So we need this. Uh, treatment chamber. So we have to build a treatment chamber. There we go. All right. So that's going to be our treatment chamber. It's going to need some power. So how am I going to get some power to it? Uh... Yeah, I can't get power to it unless I do that. Yikes.
Yeah, I didn't plan this out very well, did I? <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to put it right there. This is not well planned out. I did not plan this out well. Um, tell you what. Let's move this. Let's rotate him around. Let's put it there. And then what we'll do is we'll take this, we'll grab a pole, and we'll put it right there. Now that should, I should have power there, right? As soon as that's built, I should have power. Nice. All right, I've got power. Uh, fill the treatment chamber with resources. So what's my resources? Yikes. Um, mulberries and wood. Oof. Okay. The, so we got. Okay. So we got some. We got some pretty good stuff. I guess. Uh, we don't have anybody assigned to it. That's the problem. So let's add a couple people to it. Glad I've kept at least 20, the first wave. At least I've got those guys. I kept them. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They've got a lot of resources going and not a whole lot of anything else. So let's... From here, let's stop doing that. Um, we're going to unassign him. Um, these guys. I'm going to unassign all these guys. Unassign these guys. Actually, what I'm going to end up doing is getting rid of these pieces. We're going to come in and destroy them. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we need some snowball packs. There we go. Um, to start the healing process, you'll first need to capture zombies. If your cool weapons do enough damage to a zombie, it will be frozen in a block of ice. This makes them easy to transport. Uh, you can send a zombie to a treatment either by selecting a frozen zombie or by a treatment chamber. Uh, both have corresponding icons in their info boxes. You can also set the treatment chamber to automatic. This will automatically mark frozen zombies for treatment. Now. You're right. You're absolutely right. You can mark these for automatic, but what's where's automatic? At? But what happens is if you're in the middle of a zombie fight, my people are your your guys are trying to go out there and grab zombies. It's not a good thing. Um, so yeah, you need to just let them do their thing, and just wait till. Oh, here we go, zombie attack. Everybody back in. <laughs> I like how they throw their hands up in the air like, oh my god, here they come. Now down here we got 19 zombies coming in. Jeez, they're coming in quick too. They come in quick. So we've got one snowball shooter working that had any type of ammo. Come on, people. Where are all my people at? Okay, they're starting to work now. So now this is just another zombie attack. We are going to have to survive. Gates down. 
These guys are eating lunch. Oh, a zombie attack? Uh, yeah, no, no worries. There we go. Man, I just cannot make ice fast enough. So at this point, where you're going to have to make it a priority. So let's make these a higher priority to get these things working and done. We're going to keep this gate maintained as much as possible. Can I get to that fridge? No, that fridge is not even in the resource oh I got one frozen zombie Skyler <laughs> Skyler is frozen all right let's see if the gate is at We'll keep working on keeping this gate keep the gate repaired as much as possible we'll keep the zombies out that's for sure we need more scientists Home slice here is getting hungry. All right, we're waiting for day daylight to come. We got one zombie. There we go. All right. Okay, lockdown is over. Oh, I got the research camp. Got a lot of gathering. Got a lot of gathering to do. These guys are still making ice pads. We need to get that filled up for the next the next uh, wave. We definitely have to have those done. So yeah. Uh, vegetables, we're doing pretty good on our vegetables. That's pretty good. I'm actually thinking about moving this. This all needs to be cleaned up up here. All right. Somebody can start f mending our fences here, mending our gate. These, these guys were all out gathering up stuff, as they should. Got some people repairing the stuff up here. That's good. All right, so let's go ahead with the treatment chamber. We'll go with the automatic treatment. Let's we'll see if we can get this guy. 
He's gonna go out and, gar and grab up one of these zombies. Look at him, look at him. He's got him. He's got him in a two wheel cart. Okay, let's watch this process. This will be fun. <laughs> Look at that. A rehabilitated zombie. We'll give him a backpack. And off he goes. He's going to go work. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. So now, if you look down here, I've got one zombie working for me. Uh, once the he humbies, or humbies, I'm sorry, humbies get moves gets very low. They can turn angry. Any angry humbie is able to deal damage to your lab by attacking your constructions. Make sure that their needs are always satisfied. Um, if they ever get angry, calm them down after some time. Uh, you could also freeze them with guards. Now, frozen humbies will be brought to a calming station where they will slowly calm down. Uh, you'll have to take good care of your Humbies or they get angry all the time. Level 1 Humbies require feeding piles filled with raw meat and a skilled training room to exercise their muscles. Um, they have different levels, different needs, and abilities. Look at their info box for detailed information. So, got it. Alright, so let's see. Where is our main main guy? Oh, here he is, right here. Ooh ha ha! I don't know what you meant. I thought my zombie guy was working it down here. Maybe not. Maybe. Don't know where he went. Where did my zombie guy or humby guy go? Yeah, that's him. Jess. Okay, so he's good. He needs exercise, raw meat, and sleep. Okay, so we're good. So what we need to do is uh, we need to build him a training room. Which I'm going to actually end up moving this stuff right here. Um, I want the training room right up here. So let's go ahead and move our research camp um, down a little farther, down to this way. And we'll move our hauling port. Move it down here. There we go. Got that destroyed. All right, now we're going to look for a building uh, exercise. Okay, exercise is a nine by six, huh? So we'll go. Uh, it's eleven by six. Yeah, we can go 9 by 6, I suppose. Eh. Yeah, it tells me 9 by 6. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a 9 by 6 room. There we go for the exercise equipment. And we need a leg press. A leg press. Okay. Um, actually, we need a door first. So we'll put a door in there. And let's go ahead and put, uh, put a leg press or two in there. There we go. We've got some exercise equipment now, bro. Let's see. Let's, uh... Yeah, I guess that's alright. we got three leg presses in there. Alright, uh, set up a meat production for level one humans. Build a meat cultivator. Now, the kitchen, I believe it's in the kitchen stuff, so... Uh... Meat cultivator. And a feeding pile. So that's where that's going to come in at. Uh... See if I can turn this around. Meat cultivator. And we'll put a feeding pile right there. Alright, so we've got that taken care of. Alright. Now, now it's just a matter of getting the resources and getting this all built. So our 
our gym over here for the the humbies is going to go in right there i believe the meat cultivator is going to need some power so let's go ahead and go ahead and grab myself a pole and put it right I guess putting it right there is fine. Plenty of places for power. Okay, our gym's getting built. How is our snowball shooters? Okay, they're coming along. 18 is only got six in there. Seven in that one, jeez. Okay, I thought we had two. Yes, we did. So we've got two in treatment, and we weren't even watching. Now that he's done that, we're going to go ahead and take this out of automatic. I don't want him trying to get out there. And uh, let me fix some of the fencing around the gate as well. A little bit at a time here. Uh, it looks like we've cleaned up everything around there. That's good. So this is our circle for that stuff. We've got plenty around here. We can harvest everything in here, everything out here, um, which is good. Okay, you can use the helicopter to have Moose Lab send resources to your lab. Or you can send any kind of Humbies to Moose Lab to increase your cure process. Uh, to research the treatment chamber two, three, and four, you need to increase your cure process by sending humbies to the moose lab. So we got to send them off to the moose lab uh, to start trading. First, open the world map, then select the moose lab. There you can request resources. Gotcha. By sending away humbies, you increase your cure progression and generate research for your lab. You can also request new workers from moose lab. Ah, if you if we need them okay so what we're gonna do uh, let's go ahead and do we'll go down here to the world there's moose lab right here click on it and uh, we can send off two of our zombies to get our cure process going we've got our humbies I'm sorry humbies and then we can bring in some stuff um, it looks like we're in pretty good shape considering um, vegetables look good we'll get some meat in here uh, we'll get some carrots in here I don't have anybody that wants to come to the lab go figure ice packs yes definitely gonna need the ice packs so we'll go pull those in uh, we'll bring some wood in as well the mulberries for research definitely um, yeah we'll go ahead and grab another one all right so we'll send for the helicopter so they're going to send from here to there. Gotcha. All right. In the meantime, what do I have to research camp there? Nothing but gathering. So let's get uh, a couple of resources. A couple of them starting to build the resources now. I think we've cleaned up everything. So that looks good. I think we're in pretty good shape so far. So slowly but surely playing through the progression of this thing. We are slowly building our base. We are defending it crazily um, from the zombies. And uh, hey, I got another researcher down there working. About time. Now that's Stanley. Where did Godfrey? Where did Godfrey go? So this is actually, I mean, it looks really cool right okay workers are leaving I've got two of my two of my humbies are leaving yep there goes one yep and they're out of here all right bummer that's a bummer kind of like to have the humbies around all right Aga, aga, right, right, right back at you. 
Uh, I have. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got trees falling. <laughs> Why aren't you doing anything? You're uh, only night shift. Okay, so let's get you active. All right. I've gained 20, 20 more points. Uh, you reached the end of the tutorial. Now you are ready to. Uh, build your perfect lab to treat zombies and restore humanity. You can continue to play this tutorial expedition or start a new expedition on the world. Good luck. Yes, luck is exactly what I need. So there you have it. That's pretty much the uh, the gist of the game. Um, so you just keep building, keep adding on. So like the fences, you can build out a little bit farther and build even more stuff. Um, definitely, I wouldn't have them come right there. Um, actually, I think it might be kind of crazy just to build a fence around here, just to keep them contained and just blow them up from there. But, uh, or not blow them up, we freeze them. But yep, um, so we changed our resource camp to try to get some of the stuff out here. Um, when some of this stuff is cleared out, then I would probably move it over here to get some of this over here. Uh, in the meantime, our snowball is, they're pretty filled up, so that's pretty good. So we've done pretty good, I guess. We've done pretty good as far as it's concerned, as far as I'm concerned. So there you have it, Zombie Cure Lab. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope you come back for the next episode, because I'm going to just start a fresh game and just go right into it and see if we can survive a few nights with the zombies. All right, until later, Zerzquazar is saying good night, everyone, and I am out.